What's up everyone? Thank you guys so much for tuning in today. For those of you who are new, my name is Megan. Thank you so much for joining us. So I'm here in my favorite robe doing a springtime makeup look for you guys. This is how, oh, almost flashing you. This is how it ended up. I hope that you guys enjoy it. I posted a question in my Insta stories just to see what kind of videos my followers on Instagram wanted to watch. And somebody said spring makeup colors, which I think is a great idea because spring trends change every year. It's always some floral thing, like florals and pastels. Stripes was a big thing last year. Fashion's always changing. And makeup is changing a little bit with the trends, but I find that, like every year has like one color that really defines the year. And I think this year it's pink. I think it's different variations of pink, um, whether it's like an orange or coral, whether it's like a bright pink. I feel like pink is the color for makeup this year, which is great because pink looks good on so many people. Please keep watching if you would like to see how I created this look. I tried to use minimal products. So I hope that that really helps. I'm trying to encourage people to not have to go out and buy multiples of everything. Like what you have in your collection is probably good enough. So don't feel like you have to go out and buy new products or anything like that after you watch my videos. If you have a blush and you have an eyeshadow palette with some browns and a shimmery color, that's all you need for this tutorial. So please keep that in mind. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys would like to see next. I love hearing from you. So please get in touch with me. All of my socials are linked down below. Make sure you subscribe and give the video a thumbs up. Okay, I'm gonna stop rambling, let's get into it. All right guys, so I have my foundation, concealer, powder, brows, contour all finished because I'm doing a current contouring video, which you guys should check out. I'll link it for you guys somewhere. I feel like the big color of this season is pink, like, but not necessarily like pink like this. I would say more like, I don't know, what is it? Like, rosy pink, ooh, I don't know. So I'm gonna show you guys how to achieve that very easily. So we're gonna do like a spring monochromatic type look today. And it's gonna be super easy and you will only need a few products to achieve it, which those are my favorite, favorite, favorite videos. So I'm going to start it with Petal Power Blush. Let me make sure this is still available. Yes, it is, okay, great. This is by MAC. This is the old packaging. So it comes in new packaging now that looks like this. This is New Romance, which is also very pretty and you could use for the exact same thing I'm going to use it for. So I'm using this ColourPop E1. This is an eyeshadow brush by ColourPop. It's very much like your typical crease blending brush kind of thing. I'm going to start out with this Petal Power in my crease. Get a good amount on there. These are eye safe, so you don't have to worry about that. And we're going to stick this in our crease. Let's zoom in so everybody can see me. This is just like our first step. So trying to reduce the number of products I use per video because I feel like I watched back a couple of my old tutorials and I was like, this is just like too many things. And if somebody was just getting started, think about how like intimidating that would be. It would be like, listen, I don't have that much shit. So trying to reduce the number of products I use per video is a goal of mine. So if you wanna add like a little bit of pink into your eyeshadow, but you don't wanna go crazy with the pink because pink is kind of a hard color to wear, especially around the eyes without looking sick. So just grab your blush and just lay it down in your crease as a base. You could also use like, if you have an eyeshadow palette, like for example, this one has a pink color right at the crease right here or sorry, it has a pink color in it, which you could also put in your crease. So I'm just gonna add a little bit of the darkness from that right on the outside, but you guys don't have to do that. You could grab a darker blush and do the same thing. I just wanna kinda deepen that crease a little bit. So start with your lighter blush tone, either blush from the cheek or blush eyeshadow, and then go in with a slightly darker one, the same brush. So next, I'm gonna use this palette again. You can use whatever palette you have in your collection. I feel like I say that a lot, but you can. You don't have to use the same palettes as me. I'm gonna grab this color right up here, Birch. Keeping it on the warm tone, you could grab a cool tone brown as well. Just grab a matte brown color, more of like a medium tone, and we're gonna layer that over top. Just in the crease mostly on the outer part of the lid as well, and the crease. Yeah, that's good, yeah, that's good.
So make sure you get a little bit of that brown just right on the outer part of the lid right over here as well. Just to darken that up, give us a little bit of dimension, you know. So that's looking not bad. Um, I'm going to grab a brush that has no product on it. I can find one. All my brushes are horribly dirty. I'm going to grab this Morphe M504. I'm going to use this skin tone color right up here. So whatever your skin tone is, grab a color that's very similar. You could also use your face powder, your translucent face powder, or your setting powder, whatever you use. It can be used to soften up your eyeshadow. Okay, I like it. I'm liking what I'm seeing here. So then, what should we do next? I think I'm gonna take this birch color and drag it under my lash line down here. This is just like a random pencil brush that I think it's from Costco from like 15 years ago. Okay, so then grab like a shimmery, like cool toned color, so not like a goldish color, but you want like maybe a pink or like a very light color. For example, I'm gonna use rose quartz, which is right here. You could use pearl. Uh, I wouldn't use any of the other colors in this palette, but if you had this palette, ColourPop, you had me at Hello palette, I would grab like this color right here, maybe this color over here, this rosy gold color, something shimmery that sort of fits in with your look. You could grab like this color, for example, New Romance by MAC, which is a little bit lighter. So if you have another blush that would work, then grab that. And we're just going to tap that right on our inner half of the lid right here. And I'm going to put that sort of like right in this area as well because I have like sort of deep set eyes and I want to see more of that shimmer so I'm going to tap it right in this area and I end up getting it in my inner corner there which is awesome. Okay, I like this. So if you wanted to go in and add some eyeliner you can. I am not going to add eyeliner exactly but I am going to add some dark brown, so I'm gonna grab Dystopian from this palette here and just kind of stick that on my lower lash line because I like having liner down on the lower lash line. I don't like having any on my upper lid because my eyes are sort of hooded and deep set and I just don't feel like it looks that good on me. It makes my eye look smaller and like protruding, which isn't really what I want. Um, I did recently do a tutorial last week on eyeshadow for hooded eyelids, how to make your eyelids look more open with eyeshadow. Um, so if you want to check that out, I'll link that for you guys too. So you don't want to go over the whole way. I probably went over to like the inside of my iris and then no further with that dark under eye color. I'm just going to curl the lashes. One trick that I love in the spring and summer, I don't do this a lot in the winter, but I'm gonna grab a white eyeliner. This is small and pathetic, but like, I'm not wasting this, okay? It's like 20 bucks for a new one. So I'm just gonna add some white eyeliner on my waterline. And I find that this makes my eye open up. This is kind of like an old school trick. Like no one really, I don't see a whole lot of people doing this. I see Jaclyn Hill doing this all the time, but she's an old Mac girl too. And I just find that like helps to brighten. I don't even know if you guys can tell on camera, but in person it's like, Wow, your eyes look so much bigger. So it's another trick if you feel like you have tiny eyes. And I always use the Marc Jacobs Velvet Noir Mascara. On the bottom, I always use MAC Extended Play. Next, since I already have my contour done, I'm gonna dust away this highlight powder down here. Well, it's not highlight powder, setting powder. I'm gonna dust away this setting powder. Now, we're going to grab that first blush that we went with in our crease because we want this look to be monochromatic, meaning all of the tones like eyes, lips, and, eyes, lips, and cheeks to be very similar. So I'm going to grab a blush brush that is not dirty. Now, that is a challenge. Okay, I'm going to use this MAC 187 short. This is like a crappy old one, but it'll work for this. 
And these blushes are great because they have a little bit of shimmer in them already. And they're not super pigmented, so it's hard to go like way overboard with them. I love the mineralized powders by MAC. I find they're super, super user friendly, so you guys should totally check them out. And I don't have to really add a highlighter because as you can see, it adds like a nice shimmer to my skin already. So I'm gonna grab Talking Points Lip Pencil by MAC. This looks super bright, so I'm gonna be very light-handed with it because I don't wanna be super bright. I wanna keep like the coral that we have going. We're gonna grab one Runway Hit by MAC and that's gonna give us, this is so coral and I feel like our look is like sort of between coral and pink. So I'm gonna mix coral and pink to get the lip I want. Yeah, like it's a little too clownish. So that like backfired on me, I think. Yeah, like too much. This is like not everyday friendly. So I'm gonna take it off and I'm gonna try something else. Okay, so I'm gonna skip lip liner because clearly I don't have the right one. But I'm just gonna mix these two lipsticks and I feel like that will be good. So runway hit again. Still a little like much, I feel. How about speed dial? Yeah, that's better. Even like just speed dial probably would have been a better choice. Ooh, this is perfect. This is what I want. Please me by Mac. Yes, we've got it. The perfect pink for spring. We've got it. And I'm just gonna add a little bit of this just to define my lips. That's what I needed. Okay, we're done. That's it. Okay guys, I hope that you enjoyed this video. Uh, I know that things got a little hairy at the end, but sometimes you gotta try like a zillion different lipsticks before you find the one that goes with your look. And even when you're a makeup artist, sometimes trial and error is the best way to Find your color. Anyway, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so, so, so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Please let me know in the comments down below what you'd like to see next and follow me on social media. All my socials are down below and I love when you guys get in touch with me and tell me what kind of videos you want because I've got a lot of videos on YouTube now and sometimes I find it hard to decide what to make for you guys because I don't really know what people are gonna watch. Sometimes I'll upload a video and I'm like, oh, people are gonna love that and nobody watches it. So I really want your input, I want your feedback. Please get in touch with me anytime, I really appreciate it. Please subscribe if you like the video and give it a thumbs up. Thank you guys so much again for watching. I'll see you in my next video.